The push for an expanded dental center in Bemidji continued with a visit from state officials today. The Minnesota Department of Human Services Commissioner and Health Commissioner toured the facility, learning firsthand what challenges it faces in trying to serve people in need. Jackson Bruner has more from the visit. Times are tough at the Northern Dental Access Center. We're bursting at the seams here. They help underserved patients from 25 different Minnesota counties, but only a fraction of the 60,000 rural Northwest Minnesota people who are enrolled in Medicaid. Last year, the Access Center served about 17,000 patients, and officials expect that number to grow even more in coming years. If we cannot expand the size of the building, if we cannot build on it, we're going to actually end up having to go down. We're not going to be able to pr provide even the the services for 18,000 people. Building a new center will cost $9 million in total, including a possible $6 million from a bonding bill that Governor Mark Dayton could soon sign. So state officials came in for a tour, heading through the building's small hallways and hearing about the issues the center faces. We are now turning away dentists. Before finally meeting the people who come from far and wide to get dental help in Bemidji, like Red Lake resident Joyce Graves, who recently found dentures here. If it could just make just one little grandma smile, I can't imagine how many more grandmas and grandpas are going to come out and come smiling through this process right here. Many underserved and disadvantaged people have some issues with trust. Never have seen that here because of the energy and because of the dedication and the commitment and, and their program. The presentation seemed to make an impression. Particularly low income populations, populations of color and American Indians have not good access to, to oral health care. And we know oral health care is so important to overall good health. So having this facility in northwest Minnesota is a really a godsend to people who need that care. It's imperative for the people in this community, particularly the people on public health care programs, that they have access to strong resources for their dental health. While they wait for bonding money, the Access Center staff is moving ahead with the new building site. It was last week, went and signed the purchase agreement for it. And at this point, it seems safe to say they have backing in St. Paul. We're all in this together and collectively we can actually make a difference. So really are really supportive of what you're doing and congratulations on getting it this far. Let's get it the next month. Thank you. All right. In Bemidji, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. Beltrami County Commissioner Joe Vinnie spoke up with some good news at the end of the tour. He says the Prime West Health Group in Minnesota has approved a $500,000 challenge grant, which will help sustain the Northern Dental Access Center in the process of finding bonding money. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.